Coming over to play Growing a little Every day Here he comes with all his friends They've got stories, got time to spend With you Come in your house Hey, it's Franklin Come into my house Hey, it's Franklin Franklin tells time Franklin could count by twos and tie his shoes he knew the days of the week and the months of the year. But Franklin wanted to know about the hours and minutes too, so he could be on time for the things he liked to do. And this unusual timepiece was invented thousands of years ago. Wow! Gee, neat! It's really old! It's called a sundial, and it has numbers around the outside too. But it has no hour or minute hands. If I turn it this way, the shadow points between the 8 and the 9. Who can show me that time on our big clock? Me! me. I'll I show can you. show you! I know what it is! Yeah. Me too! Sure! Me. Uh, Beaver. It's half past the hour, so the minute hand goes down to the 6. And the hour hand goes between the 8 and the 9. That's the time I get on the bus every morning. She's right. It's easy. I knew that with my eyes closed. Yes. That's simple enough, isn't it? Are there any questions? Nope. It's yeah. Easy. No, I get it. Good. So, who hasn't had a turn at setting our clock? Franklin hasn't had a turn yet. Well, step up here, Franklin, and show us a time of day. <laughs> It could be the time you go to bed, or um, the time you get up in the morning, any time at all. Hmm. Um, what time is this, Franklin? It's now. <laughs> so it is. And it's also time for us to gather up our things for home. Yep, time for the bus. Oh boy, the weekend! Yay, tomorrow's Saturday! Great! Don't forget to take home a soccer schedule. Hey, we've got a game tomorrow. Yes, it shows all the times for your games and practices. the defense. Nobody can stop this guy. He scores! That turtle is amazing! Hi, Beaver. Nice footwork, Franklin. We sure could have used you at the game. Huh? Where were you anyway? What do you mean? We lost the game. We were short one player. You! The game's over? It can't be. Didn't you look at your soccer schedule? Yeah. Well, I mean, I thought I did. Right there. Saturday, 1.45. And what time is it now? Um, uh, after 3.30. Remember what Coach told us at the start of the season? If you're going to be late for the game, she'll have to find another player. I'll come really early for the next game. If I were you, Franklin, I'd buy a watch. <sighs> what 
good as a watch if you can't tell time. Let's see. If the big hand is on the 12, and the little hand is on the 3, then it's 3 quarter past... Oh, no, that's not right. Hmph. Oh, why am I the only one who can't figure this out? Hey, Franklin! <gasps> what are you doing? Nothing, just throwing stuff in the pond. Check this out. I borrowed it from the library. Build your own go-kart. You know how to build a go-kart? Pretty soon I will. This book has lots of pictures to show you how to do it. Hmm. Hey, that's what I need. Yeah, if we both built one, we could have races. No, not a go-kart, a book. Thanks, Rabbit. You're welcome. Teddy Bear's Tea Time, The Time Traveler's Just In Time Justin. Here it is. Let's tell time. I'll take this home and by Monday, I'll know how to tell time like everyone else. Hi, Franklin. Hi. <gasps> what book are you taking out today? Uh, I, I haven't decided yet. I'm, I'm still looking. I know. It's hard to pick just one, isn't it? Yeah, that's why I always pick five. <laughs> <laughs> <gasps> Mrs. Goose, I found the book. Excellent! Let's tell time. Oh, these are delightful books. Have you read Let's Tie Shoes? Uh, I already know how to do that. May I have your library card, please, Franklin? My library card? It's at home. If you're going to borrow a book, I need your card. Oh, uh, can I take the book now and bring my card in later? I'm afraid that would be against library rules. Oh. But I'll tell you what I can do. I'll hold this for you right here until you come back with your card. Thanks, Mrs. Goose. Don't forget, we close at half past four on Saturdays. Half past four. Got it. Oh, no! It can't be closed yet. Hey, Franklin! What are you doing? Ah, the library closes at 4.30 on Saturdays. Not today. Mrs. Goose told me it closed at half past four. Huh? 4.30 and half past four are the same thing. Oh, right. Mr. Owl just taught us that. Don't you remember? <sighs> I can't tell time, Bear. I know everybody else can. But I can't. How come? I don't know. I guess I'm just not smart enough. Not smart enough? You're the smartest turtle I know. I sure don't feel that way. You're the best in our class at adding and subtracting numbers. I do know how to do that. Yeah. And what about making paper airplanes? You knew how to do that before anyone else I know. You even taught me. I taught Fox and Rabbit, too. See? You're really smart. That's not what the others will say if they find out I can't tell time. You won't tell anyone, will you, Bear? No, I won't tell anyone. But why don't you talk to Mr. Owl? He could help you. I can't ask him in front of everyone. What should I do? You could go after school. Do you think Mr. Owl will mind? I don't think so. He's a teacher. That's what he's there for. Here I go.
Hello, Mr. Owl. Ah, oh, Franklin, come in. What brings you here after school? I need help with something. I'd be glad to help you. <laughs> That's why I'm here. Even if it's after school? Certainly. I have several students that come after school for extra help. You do? I thought I would be the only one. <laughs> oh, no, Franklin. We all need a little extra help now and then. So, what seems to be the problem, hmm? Well, everyone knows how to tell time. Except me. Learning how to tell time isn't easy. I had trouble with it myself when I was small. You did? Yes, I did. <laughs> but eventually I got it sorted out just like you will. I don't know, Mr. Owl. My friends all learned how to tell time in a week. What's wrong with me? Absolutely nothing. We all learn new skills at our own pace. But it's taking me too long. Oh, that doesn't matter. The important thing is that you're here and you want to learn, right? Right. And the sooner we get started, the better. Now, let's think of this clock as a big round pizza you're sharing with your friends. Okay. If you cut it into quarters, each of your friends could have a 15-minute slice. <laughs> oh, I get it. 